Hello Internet, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Taki, and today I'm kicking off a series I'm going to be doing on Ohio Senator and Representative profiles. First off, we have the Senator of the 1st District of the Ohio Senate, Rob McCulley. Rob McCulley formerly served in the Ohio House of Representatives, representing Ohio House District 81. Well, that's an interesting shape for a district. Anyway, he had been serving in the Ohio House of Representatives from January 3rd, 2017 to December 5th of the same year. After Cliff Height resigned from his Senate seat after reports that he was propositioning a state employee for sex, McCauley was appointed by Governor Kasich to replace him. Rob McCauley went to high school in the small city of Napoleon in Northwest Ohio, where he currently resides with his wife and three children. To get his JD, he went to the University of Toledo College of Law. While he did get his bachelor's at the Ohio State University, he's a Northwest Ohio man through and through. He's also really into football. Most recently on his Twitter, you can see just how excited he is that the Big Ten will be playing this season. Now, on to his voting record. For the most part, he votes along party lines, his party being the Republican Party, but he broke with the majority Republican decision in the Senate for a bill on taxing gas and diesel in April 2019. In June 2020, along with a majority of Republicans, he voted yes for a bill reforming drug sentencing laws. This bill reclassifies non-violent drug felonies to misdemeanors. Other than that, his voting record backs his claim that he's 100% against abortion, voting yes on prohibiting abortion after a fetal heartbeat is depicted, also voting yes on requiring a funeral or cremation for abortion remains, and voting yes on expanding access to abortion reversal meds. All these bills passed, by the way. He's also been getting recent media attention for vocally opposing DeWine's COVID response. He wrote an open letter calling for a reopening of Northwest Ohio as early as April 15, 2020. He has sponsored bills to rescind the stay-at-home order. He has argued that the mental health implications of the lockdown and the damage done to small businesses far outweigh the deaths caused by the virus itself. Thank you for listening. This again was a profile on Rob McCulley, and I look forward to doing more of these profiles in the future. See you later. Catch you in the next video.